Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will talk about how to design a real-time fraud detection system in Azure Analytics Platform. In my previous modules, we discussed about how to design a predictive aircraft engine monitoring system. But in this module, we will learn how to design a real-time fraud detection. So I will cover the topics, including a list of components that we need to design this real-time fraud detection. And I will discuss about the data flow in complete architecture. And I will also discuss about the scenario details and potential use cases. Okay, let me start with the list of components that we need to design this uh, real-time fraud detection architecture. And we need Azure Event Hubs, Azure Stream Analytics, and Azure Blob Storage. And if you have any questions on how to deploy these services in Azure, please uh, go through my uh, go to my channel. Uh, there are plenty of videos available. Um, you can find out how to deploy these services in Azure and uh, how you can configure and how you can give access to like you know, um, a resource group level access or anything. Uh, every module available, you can look for Event Hub. Just go to channel and look, go to search, just type Event Hubs. You can find uh, plenty of videos and also similar way you can find stream analytics and blob storage. So let me talk about, let me talk a li little bit about these services before I move to architecture part. Let's start with Azure Event Hubs. What are these Azure Event Hubs? Azure Event Hubs is a real-time streaming platform and event ingestion service that is capable of receiving and processing millions of events per second. So these event hubs can also process and store events, data, or telemetry produced by distributed software and devices. So in this architecture, in this scenario, in this real-time fraud detection scenario, how we can use. And the scenario event hubs receives all phone call metadata to be analyzed for fraudulent activity. Let's talk about next service, Azure Stream Analytics. As we discussed the uh, previous module, the Stream Analytics is an event processing engine that can analyze high volumes of data streaming from devices and other data sources. So it can consume data from event hubs and uh, we can process everything in stream analytics. We can use SQL and we can send it to the output. Either we can directly send it to Power BI or we can store it in SQL database or we can also push it to the blob storage account. And this stream analytics also supports extracting information from data stream to identify patterns and relationships. So these patterns can trigger other downstream actions. So in this scenario, in this real-time fraud detection, the stream analytics transforms the input stream from event hubs to identify fraudulent calls. Let's talk about our storage account, Azure Blob Storage. We know that this storage can help us to store massive amount of data. We can store uh, unstructured, semi-structured or structured data in this blob storage. In this real-time fraud detection scenario, the block storage is used to store the results of the streaming analytics job. Let me move to uh, architecture, how to design architecture. So we know what components we need to design this real-time fraud detection. So we just discussed about a list of components that we need to design this architecture. And we need the services Azure Event Hub, Stream Analytics, and Blob Storage. And let's find out our source. Our source uh, could be mobile and phone for metadata. And I will discuss about uh, entire data flow a step by step. Let me talk about the step one. Here, if you see that this is our source, and we are getting all the data from source to Event Hub. So this Event Hub where it can access all the source data and then it can process and send it to the next the Azure Stream Analytics. So let me talk about the step one. The mobile phone call metadata is sent from the source system to an Azure Event Hubs instance. 
So here you can see in this architecture, the step one. So this is our source system, a mobile or database, or anything, any metadata. And this is our source and even have all data access from the source and keep it in Azure Event Hubs. And the step two. So the step two from Event Hubs to Stream Analytics. So a Stream Analytics job is started, which receives data via the Event Hub source. So for this Stream Analytics, the source is Event Hubs. So if you go to Stream Analytics, when you create a job, you can see the input either event hubs or block storage or IoT hubs. So in this scenario, for this system design, we choose Azure Event Hubs. Now, when we create this stream analytics job, our input is Azure Event Hubs. So when our job is started, the job receives data via the event hub source. And the third step, step three, the stream analytic job runs a predefined query to transform the input stream and analyze it based on a fraudulent transaction algorithm. So this query uses a tumbling window to segment the stream into distinct temporal units. Like I discussed before, we can use a query, SQL query, just a SQL query to, like, you know, we can uh, run like you know according to our requirement but for this scenario once our job defined and a predefined query to transform the input stream and analyze it based on a fraudulent transaction algorithm and step four once this job is completed our job is completed in azure stream analytics then it has to send the data to block storage and step four will be the stream analytics job writes the transformed stream representing detected fraudulent calls to an output sync in Azure Blob Storage. So here is our uh, final output. So it receives the stream analytics, sends all the transformed stream representing detected fraudulent calls to Azure Blob Storage. So it's very simple. There are only four steps involved in this data flow. And step one, where Event Hubs receives all the data, mobile phone call metadata from the source. And step two, when our stream analytics job started, it receives data from Event Hub. So step one and step two is very easy. So even how we use to bring the data from our source, it could be either on-prem or real-time or anywhere. It helps to bring the data into cloud. Once we have data in Azure Raven Hub, we create a job in Stream Analytics and where we select input as Event Hub and we access all the data that Azure Event Hubs has. So once we have data, our job started, receives data via the Event Hub source. And step three will be the stream analytics job runs a predefined query and transform all the input stream and analyze it based on the, uh, the transaction algorithm. And after three steps completed, and our final step is very easy. You know, whatever we have uh, the query defined in this job, and it writes the transform stream from representing detected fraudulent calls to Azure Blob Storage. So, and this job in Azure Stream Analytics, we select input as Azure Event Hub and output as Azure Blob Storage. So in this Stream Analytics, and the third step, we just write a custom query according to the requirement and do all the transformations based on the algorithm. So very easy, four steps. But let's talk about the scenario details. So you may have a questions like, you know, how we manage all these services in Azure. So how do we deploy or how do we configure and are they are PaaS services or are they IaaS services? But by using a full managed Azure services such as Event Hub, Stream Analytics, so the organization can eliminate the need to manage individual servers while reducing cost and using 
just Microsoft's expertise in cloud scale data ingestion and real time analytics. So it eliminates a lot of adapt. So we don't have to manage, we don't have to worry about the maintenance. So if we just use this Azure Event Hubs and Stream Analytics in Azure. And the next one, we'll talk about the potential use cases. So there are are relevant use cases including uh, detecting fraudulent mobile phone calls in telecommunication scenarios and also identifying fraudulent credit card transactions for banking institutions and we know a lot of frauds uh, happening in these uh, uh, financial uh, institutions so we know we can implement this solution in that case and also telecommunications, like you know, detecting all the fraudulent mobile phone calls. We know we receive a lot of um, uh, spam text messages and spam calls. So this use case, like you know, uh, this system design uh, can help us, like you know, to implement to implement in such use cases. And the last one, identifying fraudulent purchases in retail or e-commerce scenarios. We know there are a lot of e-commerce uh, websites available on the internet. And also if you look at uh, retail stores, there are, you may receive like, you know, someone uh, uh, used your card and maybe you can log into your bank account and you see like, you know, some dollar transaction and you are not there, but someone already used. So, and you, we can implement this architecture even uh, in that use case. So it helps, like, you know, to identify that fraudulent purchases in retail and e-commerce scenarios. And before I end this session, uh, I will quickly cover, like, you know, what are all we discussed uh, during this module. So in this module, we started how to design a real-time fraud detection in Azure Analytics platform. To, to design this architecture in Azure, uh, we need uh, some services. We discussed about those services. We need uh, uh, three services. We need Azure Event Hubs, Azure Stream Analytics, and Azure Blob Storage. And after that, um, we talked about how to design architecture. Like, you know, step by step, we discussed, and there were four steps involved want to get data from source and uh, keep it in Avian Hub. And the second step, uh, go to Stream Analytics and uh, define a job and access the Event Hub data. And then third step, just uh, use a predefined query to transform the input stream and analyze it based on the algorithm. And the fourth step, once everything is completed and you you we are sending all the, the, the transform stream uh, fraudulent calls to Azure block storage, that's our final step. And we also discussed about the potential use cases where we can implement this uh, real-time fraud detection uh, in real time. If you have any questions on this, a uh, real-time fraudulent detection, fraud detection, or uh, even if you have any questions about these particular services that we are using to design this system, and you can post everything, even if you have any questions on the data flow that we discussed, uh, uh, the four steps, yeah, please post all your questions in the comment. And I will try to reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.